What's up everyone? My name is Cody Engel and in our last video we were talking about our calculator, uh, what we can do with sealed classes and all of all of that fun stuff. So I think our calculator has has served us well. It's done a lot of uh, really great things but at this point in our tutorial series I think it's best to start uh, kind of start fresh um, and we're going to be talking now about interfaces along with class delegation and kind of how they work and I think an easy way to explain it would be if we go ahead we create a new file uh, and we're going to call it uh, animals and what we're going to do is um, essentially create a couple of different interfaces and some implementations for those interfaces to allow us to construct you know our own ideas of different animals so like dogs cats fish snakes all of that fun stuff and so with that let's uh you know just get started so what an interface is, is it's similar to that idea of an abstract class, so similar to what we had for our calculators before. But instead of, so like if we had an abstract class animal and, you know, animals may have, I don't know, abstract val legs, which will be an int, then maybe abstract val arms which are an int could do abstract val say and you know for that you could say string instead of say we'll just, just call it talk abstract val eat I don't know what what a thing might eat but what happens is with this if we say like class snake well you know yeah class snake animal um, it becomes kind of weird because a a snake doesn't have legs it doesn't have arms it can talk though and it can eat or I guess it can maybe talk some snakes can talk right but you know it, it, it they definitely don't have legs or arms so this this is usually like the classical example though of of abstract classes and and how they might work but it quickly falls apart when you start thinking of like what what other animals might do so for that we're just going to say have an interface and call it an animal we're just going to leave it alone this is going to be an empty interface for now but we'll say interface uh and now maybe like can move and so if an animal can move, we would just want to know, like, fun move, maybe. And when it moves, we would want to know, like, I don't know, like, what, what movement it might have. So, like, if it's moving, like, maybe, maybe if it's a fast mover, we would say fast. If it's slow, we'll just print out slow. And another one might be, so, like, interface can talk I might say fun talk and again just a string like if it's a cat it'll it'll say meow if it's a dog it'll say woof and for that one we can then say like class dog and for a dog it will implement can move because dogs can move and can talk because they can talk and then maybe interface can eat and then we'll say fun uh, eat and just say a string again so or actually we'll say can eat eat will take food and we'll just say food food will be a string but it can eat it won't it won't return anything though or actually we'll say boolean We'll say, so can eat, it'll return a boolean, the boolean value, uh, true if enjoyed, false if disgusted. Alright, so now, with, so we have our dog, it can move, it can talk, and it can eat. And for that one, we'll just say implement our members, 
and we'll implement all of them. So a dog, its movement might be return fast. Um, and then like we said, when a dog talks, it will just say return woof. And then when a dog eats, we'll just say if steak well, well, yeah, so if if stake turn true, else return false. And then this is going to say oops, if food equals stake. Uh, and then it'll just let us autocomplete this and then autocomplete this some more and then we'll just say, yeah, return if the food equals stake, then uh, the dog is happy. If it, if it isn't stake, the dog is assumedly disgusted. So we'll go back up here, we will create our main function, and then we will say val doggo equals dog, and do a print extra line, um, talk to me, and it'll be doggo dot talk, and we can do another print extra line, and then we'll say run doggo run and we'll just say doggo dot run uh, oops doggo dot move <laughs> that makes more sense and then the last one just our print extra line um, some steak and we'll say doggo dot eat steak and then we'll say print extra line eat a carrot and then doggo dot eat carrot all right so that should be enough if we go ahead over here click run and we look at it we'll see uh when we say you know talk to me the dog says woof Run doggo run, it goes fast. Eat some steak, it'll be true. And then eat a carrot, false. Uh, because it didn't enjoy it. So we could actually say, um, did you enjoy your steak? And then likewise, did you, en did you enjoy your carrot? But anyway, so we have the interface can move, can talk, can eat. We have our dog. Now, let's say we want to do a cat and implement that. Well, what that would look like is we'd have class cat. Well, a cat can move, of course. A cat can also talk, and a cat can also eat. Oh, oops. We will move the cat just above the dog just so it's a little bit easier to see as we're implementing this um, and the problem though that we'll get into and actually why class delegation is is so powerful with interfaces is we'll see well can move that one a, a cat will just say for all intents and purposes a cat can move just as fast as a dog certainly when it talks it's going to be different uh, but a cat you know a cat might enjoy steak maybe but what we end up with in this in this scenario is move could actually be shared between dog and cat. So real quick, before we get to delegation, we'll just say, you know, talk, return, meow, and then eat. We'll just say return food equals fish. But can move. All right, so this one we want to say maybe maybe we want to say class fast mover and fast mover can implement move and a fast mover when it moves we would just print out you know that return fast all right cool so what we do now for class delegation to work is we remove that override and then we say can move instead of us implementing it ourselves we're going to say we're going to implement it by fast mover and it just 
does it for us, which is kind of neat, right? Um, and, uh, you know, we have Doggo, and we have soon to be our cat. Uh, if we copy that, paste that in there, let me zoom out just a little bit so it's a little bit more readable. We'll call our cat kitty. We'll create a new cat. And then our kitty can talk, our kitty can move, can eat, can eat. And we'll just say, did you enjoy the steak? Did you enjoy your fish? And update that instead of carrot to fish. Go ahead and run it. Uh, whoops, we probably want that just to be run kitty run. But we'll see now when, when it talks, it says meow. But you know when it runs, it's running fast. Did you enjoy your steak? No, it's a cat. Did you enjoy your fish? Yes. Yes, it did. So you can imagine, though, all of these could potentially be extracted into their own things, right? So we have fast mover, but we could also say, like, class carnivore. Is that how you spell it? It doesn't look like it. Maybe it is. Yeah, carnivore. All right. And then carnivores, they can eat. We implement that. But for this one, we'll say return food equals fish or food equals steak. Just because, you know, carnivores, fish or steak, they're going to enjoy it either way. But, you know, our cat, we tried to be a little bit restrictive with it. But uh, for, for the sake of this example, now we're going to say can eat. We'll get rid of that eat function there. And we will just say can eat by carnivore. Do that. And what we can actually do, if we just copy this over, because a cat and a dog are going to be very similar, we can do that. And then we can get rid of move. We can also get rid of our eat because it's just going to take over what, what the carnivore would. We go ahead and run it again. And we can see now we have our run doggo run. It's running fast. Did you enjoy your steak? Did you enjoy your carrot? No. You know, our cat now, because it is a, we've updated it to be a carnivore, it's going to enjoy both steak or fish. And uh, yeah, so that is a quick example of using class delegation. So this is also something which reinforces a topic in computer science which um, is known as composition. You'll see if you Google like composition versus inheritance, which is better, which is worse. Um, in general, if you can find a solution where you, uh, it did misspell carnivore. Anyway, if you can find a, uh, a situation where you can make use of delegation instead of inheritance, you're going to end up with a much less rigid implementation because through using delegation you can define multiple different implementations like you know we had our fa we only had fast mover but there's nothing stopping us from saying like slow mover or maybe even like slither and you know can move you know we implement this one so this would be like a, an example of if it were a snake we would just return slither and then all of our snakes, we could we could say that they they slither. But then, um, say class uh, carnivore, uh, herbivore, and can eat. And then we'd say this one if the food, oops, return food equals veggie. And then so we, we would have an herbivore there and then, you know, a snake, maybe we have a garden snake and it can eat by herbivore and it can move by slither. But then you may also then have like a class. So we have garden snake, maybe we have a python and it can eat but pythons are going to be well maybe they're an omnivore but we'll just say just for the sake of example um, it's going to be a carnivore but it can still move by slither so 
that's an example of the flexibility that you get with um, composition over inheritance because otherwise you may have something like uh, abstract class snake and the snake would you know it would slither but then you know how how do you handle the situation where two different uh, snakes of the the same like animal family how how do you update so they can eat different things and when you get further and further into software design um, this sort of flexibility can can come in handy quite often so yeah so that's kind of interfaces class delegation you don't have to use them together um, there you know again there's nothing stopping us in this situation where we had a class uh, where we said cat and then we wanted to define exactly how the cat would talk but if you use interfaces along with class delegation you get the ability to do composition for free uh, composition is again better than inheritance it's more flexible uh, it does require a bit more setup work except in the case where you set it up with delegation in which case you have pretty much the same overhead as just an abstract class so that is interfaces with class delegation hope you enjoyed this video um, i know it was a lot of new stuff coming at you so if you have any comments uh, any questions just be sure to ask them I'll be more than happy to answer otherwise though if you enjoyed this video be sure to subscribe give it a thumbs up click the notification bell just so you get updated whenever i create new videos and otherwise thank you so much for watching and i will catch you in the next one